you heard about how Diddy he refused to eat the food in prison because he's paranoid that they're trying to poison him. He know, he know, he know they want him. He's the big dog. People keep making a lie. They have to puff. Puff is the big dog. They scared of this nigga. Mike. The white folks are scared of this nigga. He runs the party. He is the. How long have you been here in Diddy party? Since the nineties, before partying was the. Sh so he's the icon of fucking partying. He started this. Sh he brought all these faces together. He brought so many business relationships together. He brought Hollywood and 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 the, and the hip hop industry together. It's he's responsible for all this. It was two different worlds. You get what I'm saying? So people trying to make it. Diddy's the big dog. Their fans know what they're doing. They grabbing the big dog. When you sit at the table and you got this white person, this white person, this white person, this white person. It's going to be two rich white people, and it's going to be Diddy as they right-hand man, and they probably got another right-hand man over there. That's how I feel the table go. He's that powerful. He ain't at the end of the table. You're not bossing Diddy around. Diddy walks in any room he controls that bitch. Don't go f If you Rick Rubin, you hear me? You fear that nigga when he coming there. Yeah, because he going to do shit you ain't going to do. And he brought the type of individuals with him that's willing to do it. And you don't hurt his reputation for so long of him pulling niggas in the room, making you leave security guard downstairs. You know what I mean? Him jacking niggas up around his. That's what he do. He got goons around him, which is security guards, and they with the shit. And when you a white man who come to a uh, event and got to be working with these people every day, uh, uh, as far as the director, movie, you just end up, you just a lone character. You 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 all by yourself. So you scared to talk to him crazy? You scared to waste water around him? I don't care if you the director. I don't care if you the producer. When Diddy's on the set, you scared. These folks don't come from where we come from. He know how to rule that. That's why when, when it came to me, he couldn't deal with me. He don't know how to deal with the niggas who are shooting. He, he, he could control them. He used to that. So he's, what I mean is when he puts fear out there, he used to being reactive right now. You know, everybody gonna react. They know what I'm about. They know what I'm about. He ain't even, he even got to a point where he ain't even gotta do it. All he gotta do is act like he gonna do it. I get it. I'm like that in the streets. I ain't gotta shoot you. I just, nigga, I get mad enough, you gonna pay me on time. If I, if I get mad, you gonna think I'm coming at you. I'm on a different part of life. But I got people that's like that right now. People come back and pay me from a year and a half ago because they fear if they run to me, I might do some stupid shit to them. So that's him. I get it. But then you got the people that, that don't see you, who live, who live a little bit worse than you and just like you. He's not used to that. He's not used to people challenging his authority. He's not used to people talking to him crazy. You know, if I probably would have been around him. He probably would have, you know, I would have been jumped. But it would have been shots fired. Like, I would have smiled till I got back around him type shit. Because I'm, 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 I'm conniving, I'm devious. Like, I'm, I'm like that. Like I smile, I put that wig on. I I do whatever I gotta do. If you 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 you, <laughs> whatever. Well, yeah, but he really liked that. He he um. He, he he ruled by fear. That's how he get most of his deals. That's how he can he can give you a deal if you you need it. If you give up that butt, he give you a deal. That's it. What you want? You want to go to uh? What you want? You want to be on revolt? You look at all these niggas, right? All these niggas who talk about these. Walk um these um uh, these rooms, hitting rooms in hip hop, and then you got a nigga. Look at Dave Chappelle, right? Dave Chappelle walked away from the money. It looked like he doubled back. It looked like he a part of the crowd now, cause when Cat spoke up, Cat ain't say shit about him, but he defending it. All these niggas, Nori, you was one of them straight gangsters, and somehow you end up back on drink champs. I know it's like Pierce Morgan reached out to me. ABC News reached out to me. All these big platforms reached out to me. These hip hop platforms who were affiliated with Puffy, they wouldn't. I remember one day my nigga was running my page. He hit Vlad. I said, don't hit that. F he said, oh no, that's the biggest thing. Because anybody know about me, I don't like attention. So I don't give a f f that nigga. And he f with Sean Prez. That nigga, I would never go do no interview with no fucking Vlad. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is fucking dirty plants. You know what I mean? These niggas scared of Puff. These niggas 
Because they know when they see Puff, they want deep. Puff four deep, five deep. Puff gonna get you beat up. What they really feel about them is them pills. Puff got shit that can get you fucked up. Puff got shit that can get you sent to the hospital. Puff got shit that can put you... as Jamie Foxx. as Justin. You seen Justin's whole face drop? I'm talking about... Two face. It took him a while. That man is terrified of that boy since then. He quiet. I like the journey Justin on. I ain't like journey Justin before because he was on, on some racist shit. But I like the journey Justin on. You know, he was young at that time. So, yeah, he, he had a racist video out. And he had blocked my old page because I was on his ass. You know me, I'm just off of what's right. So I was on his ass when I first seen him. I was upset. But then um, years later, after learning, you know, his environment and what he was going through. And there ain't no excuse for what his parents told him, but he passed that. You know what I'm saying? He's a different individual. He got a chance to look at life for what it is um, through his own lenses and make his own uh, relationships. So I respect him for that. And he's in the God. So all you got to do is be in the God. I'm with you. You with God, I'm with you. You ain't got to learn how to fight. I'll die for you. If you with God, and I'm with you. But if I see you not, it's up. Is up.